What's going on my vacuum enthusiasts? It's your favorite vacuum king. In today's video, I've got the new Shark NV620 UK T to unbox because as you're probably aware, I had a Shark Stratos, the latest best one that you can get. I don't think it's the best, you know, so I returned it. I don't have any more. So I downgraded or upgraded even to the one that is better. So we're gonna unbox this right now. This machine features powered lift away, carpet and hard floor usage, an eight meter power cable, HEPA filtration, complete seal, a turbo brush, stair tool, crevice tool, and that's basically it. These pictures on the side of the box show you the versatility of the Shark vacuum cleaner. So you've got powered lift away, which is great on stairs. You can reach under low furniture as well by detaching that canister, which is the main vacuum unit, away from the wand. So you can reach under low furniture. That's really cool and innovative. You've got carpet and hard floor mode. So basically you can use on all floor types. And there's the anti-allergen complete seal that they promised. So it's supposed to capture 99.9% .9 of dust and allergens inside the vacuum. So you've got high efficiency filters. Basically, any part of the vacuum where the two parts mate together, they're completely sealed. So no dust should escape at all. So it's a completely sealed unit. So if you've got any allergy sufferers in your house, then you can be assured that the shark is going to trap all the particles. Now let's see what's inside the box. So this is your quick start guide on the box itself, showing you what it comes with and how to assemble it briefly. You could additionally get a car detail kit as well, along with a two-in-one dust and crevice tool. But doesn't that come with it already? Oh, no, it doesn't. It's just a normal crevice tool, which it does have, but it's a slide-on brush, like a Dyson. So that's all the eco-friendly packaging out the box. I'm going to show you what the machine comes with, how to assemble it, and what everything does, basically. So crevice tool, you know what that is for your corners and edges. This one's the stair tool, comes with a detachable soft brush and the push of that button, that comes off. You've got two black velour strips for removing lint off your surfaces. And then you also got a twistable neck so you can angle it at different angles. There's your turbo brush for pet hair or any hairs in general. The bristles aren't too soft, they're decent, they're adequate enough. There's your turbine in there which spins as you can see along with the belt which connects the brush bar to the turbine. And to clean it out, you basically hold these down and push on the clear unit itself. That detaches and then you can clean it on the inside of the turbo brush. This also has the lint pickers, so great for pet hair. This is the floor tool with nice rubber coated wheels, I was about to say bristles, not rubber coated bristles, rubber coated wheels so you don't mark your hard floors. The brush bar on the base has decent stiff bristles, unlike the Shark Stratos, which is supposed to be the best one you can get. This has way stiffer bristles. On the Shark Stratos, that thing had bristles like carpet fiber, so imagine carpet rubbing on the carpet, that's what it'd feel like. But with this, you got much better agitation, so I love this. And also you got a nice big fat felt strip on the back to dust your hard floors as well. There's your clear window, so you can see when the brush wine is cleaning from any hairs and threads, whatever. Along with the famous LED headlights. The internal hose on the back of the floor tool is actually a lot more robust than the older versions, which used to split. So this is a more high quality material. So I'm happy about that. And if you want to remove the sole plate, you can do by turning these three plastic screws. The entire sole plate lifts off so you can access the brush bar and check for any blockages leading to the internal hose. Shark wand, nothing special, just has a cable hook and that's it. How to assemble your Shark NV620 UKT. Grab your motor unit and put it on top of the floor tool like so until it clicks into place. Fit your wand into the floor tool until it clicks into place. Connect this end of the hose into the machine itself until it clicks into place. The handle of the hose fits onto the top of the wand like so. Clip the hose bracket into the holder of the wand to prevent the hose from swinging around in use. Your accessories go on the back of the machine, so the stair tool goes on the left side and the crevice tool goes on the other side. There's no onboard tool storage for the turbo brush because that's an additional accessory as a bonus. But as for the cable storage, you wrap it around the upper cable hook and also the lower cable hook, like so. But because I'm gonna be test driving my new machine, I'm not gonna do that yet. Okay, first test run of my new shark. So as you can see, we've got a clean empty bin. To remove this, by the way, you just lift up on this catch on either side of the machine, like so. So yeah, there's your sparkling bin, which will not remain clean for very long. But to empty it, you press on this release button right here. And then the trap door falls open, allowing you to drop all the dirt and contents into your bin. Close that. And as for the single cycle where all the dirt spins to separate the dust from the air before it reaches the bin, 
you can clean that out as well by pressing on this button and accessing all that because sometimes well not even sometimes a lot of the time hair gets wrapped around the cone part here as the dirt spins around so you can give that clean as well and as for your filters there's a pre-motor filter here which is a sponge so you can just remove that from the cage itself and also a little pad in there for second layer filtration there's a motor in there and as for the post motor filter that is underneath so you just lift upon this clip the cover or the grill comes off and there it is your HEPA filter so I'll just put that back on there we go and bin back on let's test out my new shark then so to switch it on you press on this red button right here jeez that is actually really quiet there's a suction vent on the handle so if I close that fully you've got all the suction at the cleaner head Something that the shark stratus would have provided because it would leak a lot of suction not only at the front roller but at the handle as well but with this i've got maximum control over the suction control as you can see yeah right the hallway carpet yeah that's on carpet mode isn't it so that drone is really brilliant already look all that there so just a brief run around on this hallway carpet this thing just really works quite well. I can feel it sticking to the floor incredibly well. Not as much as a Vax Air, for example, but well enough. And let's try it on this carpet. Look all that from the hallway. Yo, that thing sticks to the floor. Yeah, this is my favorite shark now. I wanted an upright that had stiff bristles, but also stuck to the floor. Anti-hair wrap sharks. Yeah, they have stiff bristles, but they have a dual clean roller which leaks suction at the front and they don't stick to the carpets that well. Oh my days, look at all that. Let's carry on. But yeah, and as for the ones without the anti-hair wrap, normally they would have soft bristles. But this isn't actually that bad. I love how I have full control over the suction as well. Because with the Shark Stratos, I had bare floor mode, low pile mode and high pile. And the only time I could get the maximum suction on the floor tool is if I had it on hard floor mode. Because if I use it on the carpet setting, for example, yes, yeah, so with the Stratos, if I had it on the low pile setting, it would leak about that much suction. And then if I put it on the high pile setting, it would leak about that much suction. So it wouldn't work that well. And I thought it was a terrible vacuum, so I got rid of that. I can't believe how much it picked up already. It's picked up a lot of dirt, you know. I vacuumed yesterday with Dyson DA001, which is the first Dyson. And yeah, that thing might not be that powerful, but you know, I have vacuumed yesterday, do you know what I mean? Right, let's see what hard floor mode does to the brush bar. Okay, so the brushes just slow down the speed. They don't fully stop unless you put the machine upright and it stops fully. So I'm back on carpet mode. The brush bar speeds up. Oh, even on this thick pile carpet, it sticks. You can really feel it clamping down. I'm not going to do this entire carpet because I want to try the kitchen rug as well. I know it's gross to have carpet in the kitchen, but you know, I can't help myself. I've got the best hoovers, haven't I? Look, even the cat's not scared. Look how he just grooms the carpet effortlessly. Okay, time for the kitchen now. That's wicked. Do you know what? I'm after reducing suction for this. With the shark threat us, I did not want to do that. Yeah, it makes a bit of a hissing sound, but this thing's really powerful. So let's just quickly do the entire rug. Do you know what? I'm going to go for the full suction actually. Because that hiss is annoying. Ah, this is my new daily vacuum, guys. I'm obsessed with this. Look at the carpet lines on that. Look how it lifts the carpet off the floor. <laughs> no way. That's ultra powerful. Fantastic. All that dirt as well. And as for the whole suction. <laughs> Pretty strong. So to release the wand, you press on that. 
then you can fully lift off the one. And if you want to do the lift away feature, you press on this lift away button, the entire canister detaches. So you can use it as a cylinder or canister or barrel, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, marvelous machine. What I don't like about this though is, you know the bracket for the hose, right? This is common on all sharks that have this. When you're vacuuming, yeah, it's clipped in, but <laughs> as you vacuum, it just comes off really easily. So I tend to just leave it loose like that because I can't be bothered constantly putting it back in, do you know what I mean? Because it's gonna fall back off again. So let's just see what it picked up. Oh my days, look at all that dirt. Look at all that dirt. Mad. As for the filter, it's quite clean. There's a bit of dust on it, as you can see, because I wiped my finger there, but not bad. It's actually done really well. So just give the filters a clean every week or two, and you'll be all right. As long as you do that, that's the only maintenance you need to do, along with keeping the brush bar clean of any hair, of course. But yeah, this is a wicked vacuum. And if you are willing to maintain these, they're pretty powerful machines. Oh, and as for the power, I forgot to test out the turbo brush. So let's see how fast it spins. Okay. We're well, stuck on the carpet though. Sort of. If I apply a lot of pressure, then it does. But generally, no. It works all right. And that's with the full suction as well. So my first shark was the Purple AZ 950 UKT, I believe. And that's basically the biggest, fanciest one at the time, I think. Uh, which I don't have anymore, I got rid of that. But what I do miss about that one is it had a torch on the handle. So when you're using the hose, you can have a headlight on the hose as well. And a handle control to switch it on and off. Those are the two features I miss. But they're minor things to sacrifice on this machine, which I'm willing to do because this thing performs really well. So I'm really happy with my new Shark AZ, sorry, NV620 UKT. So thank you very much for watching. That's the Shark and I'll see you next time with the next vacuum video.